Greetings. Hi. Thank you for tuning into our channel, or if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, tuning back into our channel. We realize that it's been a really long time since we have put out any content. I think the last thing we put out was a reaction to Scream trailer. Yeah. We won't talk too much about that because that's a very polarizing film, I've noticed, and I don't want to get into that in this video. We will save that for a future installment. We will be doing... Hopefully, my hope is we will be doing a commentary video for the new Scream that I will put up on the channel. and People can download and play it as they watch the new Scream. In any case, thank you for returning and viewing and finding your way here if this is your first time here. We appreciate the view and we hope that you'll check out the channel. There's a lot of videos on here and I have a new computer, so we are hoping to do a lot more of these videos yes. this year. And uh, it looks like we're going to be able to, hopefully, fingers crossed. Today, we have a lot of things to taste. So we don't want to spend too much time talking about the intro. We want to get down to the tasting. But first, we have something has changed in the last year. I need to wear glasses in order to see what I'm doing. So here are my glasses. Get used to the new look. <laughs> I had to, unfortunately. Hopefully it's not too distracting for anyone. And just so you know, we're going to be playing two, two different cameras. There is this camera, the one we are talking to right now, which is for YouTube, filming in lovely 4K. Ooh. And we also have a camera that we are using down here. It's a laptop camera, but that is filming for Facebook Live. So you might see our line of vision change every now and then, and also down to this tablet that we have down here so we can make sure we don't miss any comments on the Facebook Live. Just bear with us, if you could, please, folks. We appreciate your patience. With that said, let's get down to it. So the first thing that we're going to taste today is... Here we go. <laughs> a Reese's Potato Chip Big Cup. So we've got this. For those of you that don't know, it's a Reese's Cup filled with potato chips. <laughs> Yay! My aunt found this one. Um in the Midwest, I had not been able to find it and had been kind of interested in trying it because I know Reese's put out uh, a Reese's version with uh, pretzels. And we tried that Oh yeah, last oh. year at some point. It was pretty good. Pretzels and chocolate is a really good right. combination. I'm just gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with that. Right, so now we have potato chip Reese's. Yeah, and I have had some chocolate bars that were not just chocolate bars. We live in California, so we can partake in these things. It had pretzels and I think potato chips yes, in it, it did. didn't it? And, yeah. I, and I think actual peanut chunks. Right. And it was pretty good. Like I was a little bit like, huh? But then yeah. we tried it and I was like, okay, that was really, really good. So this could be great. My only problem with this item is that of late, I've noticed the peanut butter quality in it's a little different. Reese's is a little different. It's not as good as it used to be. Here's hoping, because I really love Reese's peanut butter cups and Reese's pieces, so. Okay. Okay, so we have a piece of the Reese's potato chips big cup. Yeah. Cups, cups up. up? We're asking for trouble with that. Mm. That was very good. Mm. Okay. You don't really taste the potato chips. Now, to me, Reese's is generally kind of salty anyway. Like, here's a sweet and salty taste of Reese's. Yes, this, that's part of what makes it so good. Right. You can't really tell that you're eating potato chips other than the fact that you know you're eating potato chips. Because there's a crunch and it says it, on the package. <laughs> exactly that. Because it says it's potato chips and it's really crunchy when you bite into it. I just don't taste potato chips at it's all. It's really good. I'll say that, like, it's a delicious Reese's cup. It's not like I'm tasting Lay's or something. I don't get any potato chip flavor out of that at all. It's kind of just a crunchy, crunchy Reese's. Right. So, having said all of that, uh, what would you rate this? Six out of ten? Like, it's just, to me, a Reese's cup. It's It's kind of low seven, for... for well, it, I mean, it's fine. I, I guess I was I, expecting a little bit more pizzazz. To it maybe i'm expecting too much on the fact that it's potato chips and chocolate but this to me i just i'm giving it a six because i'm like yeah okay it's a reese's all righty then i love reese's peanut butter cups and reese's pieces mm -hmm. 
I find it weird that the, the peanut butter filling in the cups is different, in my opinion, than those used in the Reese's Pieces. Now, Reese's might claim that's not the case, but I swear they taste different to me. Maybe it's because the shell is mixing with the peanut Maybe. butter. Maybe it's because the chocolate and peanut butter give it a different kind of smoother blend. I don't know. Maybe. But I enjoy the flavor of both, even though I think they're slightly different. Mm -hmm. This, I would rate it just as a Reese's peanut butter cup and eight. Because I love Reese's mm -hmm. peanut butter cups. It's supposed to taste like potato chip. Maybe it's not supposed to taste like it. Maybe the, the whole point was to give you just the crunchy and the salty. Could be. I don't know. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't taste the potato chip mm -hmm. because I wanted to taste the blend. Having said that, I would probably rate it a six and a half because of that. Yeah. It's, it doesn't, it's not that it's, it doesn't taste good. It's just, I was expecting a more of a different flavor. Right. And I didn't get that. So I'm a little bit right. let down. Maybe a six and a half is too harsh. Maybe a seven. I want to see like a Lay's Pringle, like just sandwiched in between the top <laughs> and bottom. And then, then we can make, why don't you pitch that to them yeah. and make that happen? Hopefully things will just go up from here. Uh, so what? Yeah, I think so. What is next? Next, we have Pop Tarts, but not just any only Pop the good Tarts. stuff on this channel. Just the best products. We have Pop Tarts Ego Frosted Maple Flavor. And this could be really amazing, or it could be a super letdown. I'll just say I'm super stoked about this, and I don't know if they did it in kind of conjunction with like Stranger Things and the popularity of the Eggo waffles and things like this. It is apparently a permanent flavor. Maybe that feeds into it? Possibly. I still haven't found them in stores, so I've actually found this on eBay. This is what it looks like. It's like a crisscross design. I'm really stoked about these because I love Eggos. I think you love Eggo Eggos. I love Eggo waffles, but I, I will preface this by saying the last few pop tarts we've had were not yeah. very good i'm tempering my expectations let's just say yeah <clears throat> i feel like you need to get the frosting part you gotta get all the, way, all the way all the layers thanks monica there it goes up it has a very artificial taste Mm. It's pretty good, but it kind of has a very fake, in not a great way, kind of maple taste, even though I love like fake maple syrup. <clears throat> I love fake maple syrup. I prefer it to real maple syrup. Yeah. This tastes like it's trying to imitate the taste of a fake maple syrup. Yes. I think the problem with that is we're tasting more of the pastry part of it right and again the pastry just tastes really cheap yeah i don't know if it's when i was a kid i probably would have just mouthed this whole thing down and been like oh yeah that's uh, you know but yeah being a little older having a little more refined palate having spent many years eating the fine baked goods that she creates she uses very good ingredients it just tastes like shortening and like yeah. I'm just not a fan of that taste. And it leaves like this greasy kind of film in your kind mouth. Of. So get some today. <laughs> <laughs> not a big fan. I, I would, I mean, the flavor's okay. Yeah. I still prefer like a blueberry or a strawberry Pop-Tart or even like a good chocolate Pop-Tart. Mm -hmm. I would rate that maybe a five and a half, maybe. And that's probably being generous. I would probably give this one a five. Sorry, Kellogg's. It's good-ish. I like the essence, the flavor essence of the Eggo. Like I can taste it like as I like kind of let it sit there for a second. Mm -hmm. I can taste the Eggo-ness of it. And the that's ego good. The ness The maple's a little. I too enjoy mm -hmm. the Eggo-ness. The Eggo-ness. <laughs> you know, it would be really good like dipped in coffee. Like, I mean, that's the thing. If you're, yeah. if, if you're in the mood for a Pop-Tart and you like the flavor of Pop-Tarts, You'll probably yeah. really enjoy it. I'm not saying that I don't like no. Pop Tarts. I just prefer different flavors. To me, this didn't mix as well with the pastry flavor as I thought it would. Right. And I'm not trying to be derogatory or put down the <laughs> taste of anyone that likes Pop Tarts. Yeah. We all have different tastes. Right. Like, there are people that absolutely love the taste of cilantro. Right. Some people can't stand cilantro. Yeah. You know, they think I mean, it tastes like soap. We like the new style of Domino's pizza. 
I think it's yeah. really good. There are people that think that it tastes cheap and awful. I'm not trying to put anybody down if they like this flavor. I just no. don't really like the flavor of Pop-Tarts as much as I used to. Yeah. In any case. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, let us move on. As you all know, we do a lot of tastings of Oreos. And there are two new flavors that launched in January. And we procured them. And we're going to taste them. She procured them. The first one that we're going to taste is Toffee Crunch. Woohoo! You want to read, like, you? we can read the... Let me read. They're always made with real cocoa. Oh my god! Bonus. And these are toffee flavored cream, artificially flavored with sugar crystals. There's that key word. Sugar? Artificial. Artificially flavored. Ready? Yeah. Cookies up. Toffee up. Mmm. 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 Yep. That's good. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That <laughs> toffee flavor mm -hmm. really penetrates and permeates totally. Yeah. That is incredibly delicious. I don't know that they need the sugar crunchies or whatever. Mm hmm. Sugar but, crystals. But. Those are pretty damn good, man. Those are excellent. It almost tastes like a samosas, but not with the coconut. I don't know. I don't know. Those it's are pretty good. Really good. If you can find toffee nut crunch toffee, if you can find toffee crunch Oreos, mm -hmm. get some. Those are really, really good. I, I will qualify that statement with just be aware and be wary. They are very sweet. Yeah. Like, just the one cookie, like my mouth just, I can feel the sugar. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily a bad thing. No. It's just, uh, they're very sweet. Yes. We, don't, we don't eat a lot of sugar on a daily basis. We eat a lot of sugar when we do these videos. <laughs> Those like, are good. They'd be good dunked in coffee oh, or yeah. milk, which yep. I know Oreos are meant for, because, man, very sweet. Yeah. Having said that, yeah. How do you rate oh. the Toffee Crunch Flavor Cream Oreo? I think I might give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, it's it's pretty close. I'd almost give it a 9, but I know we've had a few other cookies that have been a wow. little bit better than that. Like the Dunkachinos. That is high praise. Toffee Crunch 8.5. I would say 7.8. 7.8. They're really good, mm -hmm. but... To me, they don't quite get past eight. Like I reserve that rating for like the like the ones that are great and above. Mm -hmm. I kind of expected there to be more of a crunch on the inside because toffee is typically very crunchy. Yes, they're good though. Well, really, really good. There you go, toffee crunch Oreos. Let's move on to the next item. The last Oreo that we have to try, I personally am super stoked about. Well, that's because you're sane. But who wouldn't be? <laughs> These are... Get the name, get the name. Ultimate Chocolate Flavor Cream Oreos. Not just chocolate, not double chocolate. Ultimate Chocolate. Now, I'm really interested in these because we already had dark chocolate Oreos from Oreo like a couple years ago mm -hmm. maybe now at this point. Now, I don't know if this means Ultimate Chocolate if there is dark chocolate in that or if it's milk chocolate well, based. Well, right away, look at the Oreo. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. It's 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 designed to mimic oh. this cake. You can see that if you look at the packaging, the Oreo itself has different shades of chocolate, uh, just like the cake has different shades of chocolate. So, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing there's dark milk. Right, but I it, don't know something else. Uh, I'm kind of scared because there's literally three layers of cream in between the sandwich cookies. Well, maybe they're very small. Maybe layers. it's very thin. I should also preface this tasting by saying these came very highly recommended to us yes. from two or three people we yes. know that were like, "Oh my God, have you guys tried these yet?" And right. we were like, "No," but now we know now we have to <laughs> because you are telling us this. So, okay, let's do it. Well, there you go. 
Well, it smells like chocolate. She touched her nose to the cookies. Holy mackerel, is that chocolate? Whoa. It's very rich smelling. Wow. Uh, it also smells incredibly sweet. Like, probably. They don't look quite as thick as you were concerned about them being, but they look thicker than the last Ooh. Oreo. Man, that's, that is, okay, I was wrong. That is a very thick <laughs> Oreo. Ultimate Oreo is up. <sighs> Chocolate away. <laughs> Whoa. That's a good cookie. Wow. That is very chocolatey. Which makes sense. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. I don't want anyone to be like, duh, but ma'am. That is absolutely delicious. I'm trying the filling by itself. It almost tastes like the layers. If I had to hazard a guess, maybe they would say I was wrong on their website. But it almost tastes like the flavors are supposed to be milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and fudge. Yeah, I could see that. But that said, they're pretty damn good. But yeah. they are sweet. It's a chocolate cookie with a bunch of chocolate cream in the middle. It's it's exactly what you would think it would taste like. That is really good. I'd give it a nine out of 10. Wow. Because man, if you, if you want just like straight <laughs> chocolate, go with that cookie. I have to give it the dunk test. I am imagining it would be incredible with coffee. Not that it's any better. Um, no. <laughs> With the coffee, it is pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. I think it would be even better with milk. <clears throat> yes. So you give it a nine. Yes. I yeah. would probably give that an 8.4. Not quite an 8.5. The only thing that's like holding it back a little is just, it, it's really sweet. Again, I think my palate has just changed for sugary substances because- Could be. I haven't eaten a lot of sugar during these past few years and it's just it's a little much like even after one and a half I'm like I'm good like I'm sure trying all the other things ahead of time did not help at all and my body is over here like more I, I, <laughs> I, I remember how much sugar you used to eat I want more of it. which is ironic considering how you look how in shape you are but I was gonna see if it said anything special on the back so plenty of riboflavin well, I mean... Oh, it has chocolate in it. <laughs> Surprise! Highly recommend. If you can find them, grab them. Yeah. There you go, folks. Yeah. Things ended on a high note, let's there just say. Which I'm glad for because... Yeah, the, the Eggo wa waffle yeah. Pop-Tarts were kind of a letdown. But right. Oreos... Jumped in and saved, saved the, day, the day as usual, thankfully. Our latest tasting video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching us try any of these fine products and you're interested in trying them for yourselves, apparently some can be found on places like Amazon and Target. So you can probably order some to be shipped to you or maybe they're available at your local grocer. I don't know. Right. She says some of them are not readily available. You might have to- At really least- hunt them down. Not in our area. I know Kroger has been carrying the Oreos. So if you have a Kroger, you might try there. Yeah, or or maybe, a Kroger affiliate. Or even, I think Walmart might have them in certain places. In any case, maybe you can find them and try them. And maybe you'll enjoy them more than we did or less. Who knows? I don't know. But we hope this provided some entertainment and information for you. We thank you for watching very much. Thanks for tuning back into the channel if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, or if you just stumbled upon the channel and you like what you saw thank you so much for watching please yeah. feel free to watch other videos we wish you and yours nothing but the best as always please take care of yourself so you can take care of others and vice versa and we will see you all very soon bye bye oh
forgot. <laughs> what do you want to start with? We have so many things to taste. We have four things to taste today. I'm going to is suggest. That it? Oh, yes, yeah, it is. Oh, we, some of we, them we left out. We'll be doing those in a future video. I'm going to suggest that we do the two off things first and then end with the the, the main event. Finding your way here if this is your. Is... Maybe. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's thick. It's very thick. You might want to get I dropped that one on the counter. Here. Not that one. There are people that absolutely love. They thought that was really fun. It's kind of disappointing because, man, I ate a ton of Pop-Tarts growing up. I mean, I'd have a Pop-Tart almost every morning with butter on top. The last item. The last. For now. For now. There. I got a, I got a problem going on here. There. Grab it. There. No. That... <laughs> there. I got it. If. You enjoyed any of these fine <laughs> products, or I shouldn't say if you enjoyed any. 